phone went flying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the big question is, is this car worth getting? What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we have the 320i Mzanzi edition. So pretty much what's different between this one and the normal 320 is you get a whole bunch of different kit around the car. So first of all in the front we get a carbon fiber front lip which at the moment we don't have. They took that off just so that customers don't scrape it on speed bumps and stuff. We also do have the lights that come in the kidney grills in the front and then move to the side then we get the red brake calipers then we move alongside the car we do have the black side skirts at the bottom right over here gives the car a bit of a lower wider stance we then also have the carbon fiber mirror caps as we move to the back of the vehicle we then get a, another piece of carbon fiber this time in the form of a boot spoiler we also then do get our blacked out tailpipes and it's the usual familiar 320i behind but so we'll move in front of the vehicle over here, we go inside. We do also get the M Sport seat belts when we have the Mzanzi edition. You also get your nice comfortable seats with the Alcantara inlay and obviously your BMW M colors and the roof stitching. Other than that, we are greeted by a very familiar 3 Series interior. Very luxurious, very comfortable and an absolute dream to drive. Another thing you get with the Mzanzi edition is the kidney grill lights. These are little lights that are up here in the grill and you can see it at night and it gives a really, really cool look to the car. What we also have is an active kidney grill from BMW. This means that when the car is off or cold, the kidney grill stays closed in order to ensure that the car's engine heats up properly. When the car then reaches the correct running temperature, the fins open up and allows the car to breathe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interior of the 320i Mzanzi edition. As a normal 3 series would be, it is extremely comfortable, very luxurious, and just overall one hull of a car to be in. And it is just one hull of a daily driver. That is what someone would buy this car for. You can take out, no questions asked, you have a really good looking car that it's going to take you wherever you need to go comfortably you have a lot of space it's a big family car obviously it's not supposed to be an x car so it doesn't have that much space but i mean for what it is it is a fantastic car it definitely has enough power to drive around the city drive around the highway that is not a problem it is just one heck of a well-rounded car and the Mzanzi edition just brings a little bit more spice to the regular 3 series. The regular 3 series can look a bit boring and dull. They've definitely been upgraded since the newest model which is the G20. Um, they've definitely made a lot of cool, interesting, fun improvements over the previous generation 3 series. But the Mzanzi edition puts a whole bunch more spice on top of that and gives you a front lip carbon fiber bits everywhere it just overall it turns the car into something a lot more special a lot more unique and something that just overall looks way better so the Mzanzi edition is specifically for the South African market um, this is not sold anywhere else in the world so if you live in another country besides South Africa sorry for you you will not be able to get your hands on one of these but yeah, I think it's just one of those great things that have come from the country. Um, and not a lot of... No, let's not go into politics. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so, a big question on everybody's mind would be, how fuel efficient is the 3 Series? So, there are three variations of the 3 Series. You get the petrol, the diesel and then you get your sport models which is then the uh, the 340 etc etc this is the 320i so it is a petrol car so obviously it's not going to be as fuel efficient as the diesel but the big question is how fuel efficient is this car well at the moment i have reset the trip computer since we left the dealership this morning and we're sitting at about 11.8 liters per hundred which is actually horrific I was getting about 12.8 or so in the M140R that I had a while back. 
But you have to keep in mind that the car needs to run in. This car is brand new. It's got 230 Ks on the clock. So it's going to get better. And at the same time, all I've been doing is I've been driving around taking photos. I've been driving around city driving, which is like first, second, third, fourth, fifth. It does not get into eighth gear, which is the most efficient gear. So the driving that I'm doing at the moment is not going to be in favor of fuel efficiency. In fact, it's actually in favor of comfort and pure photographiness. <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the interior of the 320. We have been driving it for a while, we've completed a couple of photo shoots with the car, which hopefully they came out well. As usual and as expected, it is a very nice car to drive. We've actually managed to get uh, the fuel consumption down to 8.4 liters per hundred. I think earlier I said it was 11 or something, so we're improving, we're improving slowly. Very comfortable, I was just saying I'm so glad we have an automatic, because my car, my personal vehicle, is a manual, so the traffic would have been absolutely horrendous if we're stuck in that now thanks to load shedding what a what a nice car it is an absolute breeze to drive I do think that the m sport logo the m logo that comes out of this door i think that is part of the Zanzi package there's a point that i i think i need to make with this car it looks like a really sporty car it looks really good but this is not a sports car this car does not perform like it looks like it should. When buying a car like this, when buying the Mzanzi Edition with all the extra trim, with the spoiler, with the, the red brake calipers and everything, it can be a little bit deceiving because there are no performance mods. It is all just cosmetic. And at the end of the day, this car, well, I suppose you could say it's a ricer because it's got all the, the go fast mods, you know, got the, the red brake calipers, the, <laughs> the diffuser. It's all just cosmetic stuff, obviously, but it's, it's got all these mods that make it look like a real sports car and make it look like it's got some some meat to it you know but at the end of the day at least the the petrol is it it's a two liter motor yes it's turbocharged it's still just a three series it is a family car or is a car that'll take you to work and back there's nothing extra that you're going to get in terms of speed and performance if that is what you think you might get with this car maybe this is not quite the car for you then you just got to keep that in mind that all the mods that the car does have they are purely cosmetic and does not add any performance whatsoever this car doesn't even have the performance gearbox so we don't get any panel shifters or anything if you want to shift manually you're going to have to use the gear selector yourself um, otherwise yeah it's just a comfortable car it's comfortable to cruise on the highway um, at the moment we're actually getting 7.4 liters per hundred which is not so bad we're going to keep driving enjoy the car and let's see what happens all right, so we're off the highway. Just a little update on the fuel consumption. We are currently getting 6.2 liters per hundred. So it's really not bad as soon as you hop onto the highway. But other than that, oh, it's not exactly good. Like I say, my car, okay, I got a 1.6 diesel, but I get about 4.4, 4.3 liters per hundred combined. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's getting better. It's getting better, guys. We are gonna do some tests to see exactly how this car performs against BMW's stated numbers. So we're gonna be looking at the zero to 100 times, maybe even the quarter mile times, depending on where in Mexico we are exactly. I've got my draggy set up, we're just gonna go and find a road now, and then we are gonna test exactly what this car does zero to 100. The BMW claims that this car does zero to 100 in 7.2 seconds. Now, BMW are known for understating what their cars can actually do. It'll be quite interesting to find out what this car will do, considering the fact that it is not a performance car. So it is not meant to do crazy numbers. At the moment, it is about 18 and a half degrees Celsius. We've got a bit of cloud cover, so it's perfect. We're gonna go and do a photo shoot after this. So the weather is just fantastic for what we wanna do. We just need to find a spot where we can start this. guys so that one we actually did a 0 to 100 in 8.31 seconds so not quite what I was not quite what I was hoping for 
that's <laughs> not actually quick at all. Hopefully we will find a better set of numbers now when we try it again for take two. So I'll see you when we do that. Let us try this again. We're gonna reset the draggy. Oh, that was much better. Let's see what we get. Oh, what did we get? Oh, we didn't even worse that time. I thought we did better. We actually got an 8.9 seconds, zero to 100 that time. So yeah, we're not exactly getting any better. Well, we're gonna give it one last, one last shot. Okay, so we're gonna reset. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, shit, my phone went flying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> phone disappears. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go, we did it. Now, we need to retrieve the phone somehow and then find out exactly what we did. So we did zero to 100 in 8.38 seconds. Once again, not quite what we were looking for. So the big question is, is this car worth getting? And the answer is yes, it is. This car is for the person that just wants to commute to work and back or go out with a family. This is a family car and it is so good at what it needs to do and that is to be comfortable, to be efficient, to have space and it has all of those things. The only problem that I personally find with this car is that it just does not have the power that I would want in a car at this price bracket. I'm obviously the type of person that wouldn't go out and spend all this money on a brand new car. I'd rather spend this amount of money and get a second hand car with like 15, 20,000 Ks on it and get something with a lot more power, get something a lot, a lot younger and a lot more spirited. It just feels like a good car. So there's, there aren't any complaints really. There's nothing to complain about with this car. It just doesn't have the performance that I personally would be looking for in a car. But having said that, if you are the type of person that just wants a car to drive around, go to work and back, go out with the family, this is the perfect car for you. I think that'll be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now that we have the draggy, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos in the coming weeks. Hopefully we'll get a chance to take the M4 out for another drive, find out exactly what that does. And then from there, hopefully the next one just keep rolling in.